Hello, this will be a video on vibrato, specifically continuous vibrato, which should be uh, the goal of all string players, because the greatest string players all had continuous vibrato. So there's a couple kinds of vibrato that you'll hear very, very often, and the one that I hear the most often is vibrato that only happens on long notes, notes that take a long time. So like this. You hear a lot of that. Somebody will wait along, wait until a long note comes around and then give that note some love. You'll also hear this other variety where um, uh, people will wait until their strong finger arrives, like two or three, and then they'll vibrate. So it'll actually sound quite similar. Might vibrate on that three. Yeah, but neither of these is as good as continuous vibrato which sounds like this. You see the, the thread of expression goes through all of the notes, passes from finger to finger, note to note. The technique I'm going to show you has a 100% success rate, assuming that you know how to vibrate already. So if it doesn't work for you, uh, don't tell me, because then I can't claim that it's uh, successful 100% of the time. I'll show it to you. It's uh, by vibrating in pairs of fingers. And if you think of it like a walking principle, uh, it, it's helpful to, to remember. So when we walk, uh, we have either two legs on the ground or one. When we pass to the next leg, for a moment there's two. And continuous vibrato is a little bit easier to learn if you think of it that way. So put down your one and your two together. Make sure that the fingers are on the pads, this fleshy part here, not the tips. Move your elbow a little further to the left and don't press hard on the strings. I don't think I can uh, emphasize that too much. You should feel the squishiness, sponginess of the strings and you should never feel the fingerboard. If you're pushing the, the string to the fingerboard, you're pushing much too hard and vibrato will be strained. Okay, so here. So we'll vibrate them as a team, as a pair. And then all you do is lift the two. And you've got continuous vibrato on the way down. Try it. It's, it's really fabulous. It works all the time. Okay. Uh, the cool thing about this is that if you can vibrate with two fingers down like that, and you put your first finger on the next string over, you're vibrating on a sixth, a double stop, which may have been frightening for you, but it shouldn't be now. So vibrating in pairs of fingers is the secret to learning continuous vibrato. Uh, going on the way up is only slightly harder, so you'll have to take a few more tries, perhaps. So what we're going to do is drop the second finger on top of the first, they're vibrating as a team, and then we can lift the one. Always uh, try it within one bow, so. So step one is to vibrate. Step two is to drop the two on top of the one, they're vibrating together. Step three is to lift the one. But continuous vibrato going up. Now you can um, make all sorts of pairs of fingers. So in, in our Brahms example we have so this would be a one three pair. So if you want to get continuous vibrato going down which is slightly easier put one and three down vibrate them together don't press hard. Don't press hard. And then going upwards. And this pair gets you a third. If you put your third finger on the next string lower. Um, and then the last pair, at least for our Brahms example, is this. So we'll put our first and fourth finger down, 
vibrate them together. And of course, if you can vibrate in the 1-4 pair, then you can vibrate with octaves. So there you have it. And again, if it doesn't work for you, don't tell me. Because this is one of the very few teaching techniques that I have that seems infallible. It just works all the time. Give it a try, and uh, I'm hoping that it will work for you. Bye.